Against this backdrop, the PPP's interim leader Han Dong-hun resigned, while the DP leader Lee Jae-myung vowed to alleviate the people's hardships. Our political correspondent Shin Ha-young has their remarks. The results of the 22nd general election have produced sharply divergent fates for the ruling and opposition parties. During a press conference on Thursday, the ruling People Power Party's interim leader Han Dong-un announced his resignation, taking responsibility for the party's electoral defeat. The public sentiment is always right. I apologize to the people as the representative of our party, which has failed to gain their support. I accept the voters' will and reflect deeply. Therefore, I take full responsibility for the election outcome and resign from my role as the chairman of the Emergency Leadership Committee. Han stated that he took full responsibility when asked about the cause of the defeat. Regarding his plans, Han said he had nothing specific to do, adding that he would continue living with concern for the country regardless of his location or role. During his speech, Han congratulated all elected officials, including those from the opposition parties, and urged them to conduct politics that reflected the people's will. Right after Han's press conference, the PPP's Park jong also stepped down as chief spokesperson. Meanwhile, on the same day, main opposition Democratic Party leader Lee Jae-myung, who is also the co-chair of the party's election campaign committee, said the results of this year's general election were not a victory for the party, but rather one for the people. The election results are not a victory for the Democratic Party, but a great victory for our people. We will do our best to alleviate the people's hardships and resolve national crises. We will lead the 22nd National Assembly to protect the people now and open up a better tomorrow for them. His remarks came during the final meeting of the DP's campaign committee. He began his speech by thanking the public for their support in helping the party secure more than its target of at least 151 seats. He urged party members to remain humble and attentive to the voices of the voters following the election. Shin Ayong, Arirang News.